Hi everyone, Sahil from QuickNode here, back again with another video. Today, we are here to put RPC and GraphQL head to head. So which one is right for you? Let's find out. So we'll focus the comparison from the perspective of an API user. But if you are interested in learning what goes under the hood of these APIs or what an API is in general, let us know in the comment section. RPCs or JSON RPC to be specific debuted in 2005, while GraphQL is much newer, coming onto the scene in 2015. In practice, this means that the RPC is very well established with extensive library and community support, which is especially true in the blockchain space. On the contrary, GraphQL is still in its early days with significantly less tooling and support. Both leverage similar authentication schemes and use HTTP for data transfers. Where RPC has both GET and POST HTTP methods, Graph only leverages POST. RPC is a specification in which predefined methods are called, returning a fixed set of properties in a response body. This requires some amount of post processing after the response is received, and more often than not, Subsequent API calls are required to fetch additional data as well. GraphQL, on the other hand, is a querying language. Therefore, you can craft your query to retrieve only the data what you need, which is valuable to you. Additionally, you can traverse a data hierarchy in a single API call. For example, you can retrieve the company resource as well as its employees all in a single query. While this saves on post-processing and bandwidth, the query generation logic in itself is significantly more complex. Now let's try to understand both of these and the differences between them with the help of an analogy. Let's say your friend proposes to his girlfriend and she said yes. So now you are invited to a party, but then you remember that your wardrobe looks like this. So you go to a store to buy some nice clothes. So you walk into a suit store and you find the perfect suit which comes in a bundle. So it has the blazer, it has vest coat, it has trouser, shirt, everything. But you need just the blazer, trouser and shirt. You don't need the vest coat and you also need a tie, but you don't need the vest coat. But since the suit is nice, you get it. And then you go to a socks store and you also find the perfect pair of socks. But even that comes in a bundle. But since that perfect pair of socks is what you want, you buy the entire bundle. But then all the other pairs are just wasted. So you will have to either throw them or they'll just sit there in your wardrobe. But then you find out about a new and innovative store, which takes your request upfront about the types of clothes you want, about the pieces of clothes you want, the fabrics, the accessories, everything. There is some upfront work to be done in terms of filling out the forms based on your choices, but you can get exactly what you want. So you can get trouser, you can get shirt, you can get blazer, tie, and matching socks as well. You don't have to buy bundles where you waste the items which are not needed by you. So relating to this example, RPC has standard methods defined. With RPC, you'll require to do multiple calls for different types of data, and you'll only get the data specified in the method response body. Whereas with GraphQL, there is a predefined schema. You can get the different types of data and only the data which is valuable to you in one single call. So have you decided which API is right for you? Looking for a Web3 GraphQL or RPC API? Check out the QuickNode APIs in the pinned comment below. So like this video and let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful or if you liked it and subscribe to the QuickNode YouTube channel and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any of the new upcoming tutorials or videos. Thank you everyone.